All right, so welcome to today's uh, game of the day. Uh, my brother and Raven are actually playing Minecraft together, so uh, you might hear, hear them in the background uh, talking about their game. But today we are going to be covering incredible technologies. Um, actually, it's not Golden Tea. It's going to be uh, a different game. But this game, if you're not familiar with it, it is controlled with... Um, let me see if I can move this around so you can you see it all the way down. It is actually controlled with a trackball. And this game is actually a double game, so it's kind of a, it has two games. And the one that you're seeing right now is Lawn Darts. And then it also has another game in it, uh, Bags. And this was originally a Golden Tea. And again, this is made by Incredible Technologies, but it was made by Golden Tea. I mean, made by Incredible Technologies and it was a Golden Tea. But they also made this game, which was Lawn Darts and Bags. And if you remember when we did the Chicago theme, uh, we did the Arcade Legends, and there's a game on there called World Class Bowling that uh, they do. And they also do another bowling game called Silver Strike, which is really popular. And Golden Tee, Silver Strike, um, all of these games, you'll, you'll see them in the bars. And this one is actually Target Toss Pro. And it's actually a it's really, really cool game. And I want to say it has like the vulgar settings. Oh, look, check this out. Pointed Metal, Lawn Darts may cause serious or fatal injury. Because it's, uh, you remember the old lawn darts from like the, was it the 80s or whatever? But um, I want to say this one is kind of vulgar. So uh, I apologize ahead of time <laughs> for like what it says. But So there's two games here. We'll go ahead and do lawn darts first. And then today was also um, National Cheeseburger Day. So I went ahead and I don't know if you can see it. But I went to Whataburger, got me a cheeseburger. But let's go ahead and play some lawn darts. We're just gonna play. Someone who needs no introduction. This is your classic. It's all yours, champ. So it tells you like the points that you get. Let's get started. As far as if you get closer, the outer ring and, and then the center ring. From the gates of legendary Lanessa Field, where thousands come annually to watch the best players in the country. Wearing like a throwback Orlando Magic jersey. Okay, so it says two practice um, throws, and if you notice up here. It says shot angle 30%. You can actually change the shot angle, so depending on the, the arch. And so you just move the track ball back and then move it forward, and that's kind of that's kind of how you throw. So you got to kind of just try to get the speed. So the other factor that you have to take into account is the wind. So it'll tell you wind direction. Pop one so up on the one point. Board. And then uh, it's just telling us to put our initials. It does that on the very first one. All right, so here we go. Uh, the center red dot is five points. So that's what we're trying to go for. And we're off. I haven't played this game in a while. In the ring for one. Let's check out how you're doing. So technically, I think he could have got uh, 15 points total. So now the wind is at one mile per hour coming at me. So it's just gonna slow it down just a little bit. So now I know I gotta kinda just go a little bit faster. With the creepy carnival Pennywise music going on in the background. A little too much. Let's go the scorecard. the third. So now the wind is going this way and it's three miles an hour. So I'm gonna have to kinda go to a little bit to the left to kinda Go against Pop it. One up on the Man, I, I've only been able to get into that outer ring. Let's see. Too much. In for one. Still too in much. Ring for one. So the wind stays the same for the inning, but then every inning that you go through, it Start changes. So we'll see the fourth inning, it's going to the left. It's going four miles an hour, so it's going a little bit harder. There we go. Made it into the second ring. We still haven't made it into the to the red one, but we got points. two threes. Blast off! Oh, sticks it in for three. Let's look at the board. The wind is getting stronger in the fifth inning. So we got a five mile power wind. One inside. Definitely moving it a little. He's hoping for a good toss. There we go. That fucking move. There goes the foul language, so I apologize ahead of time. In for one. Let's go see how we're doing. 
I guess I don't hear it enough because you have to get that bullseye. Oh, that wind is blowing hard. I didn't look at the wind. So the wind is actually blowing six, six miles per hour down to the right. There we go. Oh, right there so for close. Three. Over to the board. Here we are at the start of the seventh. All right, so we're six to the left. Oh, yeah, they definitely right went to the left. We were way too far right. In for one. Way too far right. Pop one up on the scoreboard. So we didn't, do too, the didn't do too hot. This is the final inning. So final inning. Oh, I thought we got it. There we go. There we go. Uh, so we'll, we'll say no, and then we'll go ahead and try, we'll try bags. Hi, I'm Matt Kern, and with me is five-time TTPA winner. So Jeff bags is Thompson. just like beanbag sure. toss, Thanks, cornhole, game, whatever you want to call it. To the sport, which has given me so much. The so this one you can do, to you can do angles. Okay, so you can do angles, right? So the, how, how much the arch is. And then um, you can also change your shot. So right now it's on a flop shot. You can do a slide shot and you can do a bounce shot. So um, let's do the flop. So that's a flop. So let's do the slide. See, so you can see the slide and let's do the bounce. There you go. starts the game with three. Seven of diamonds. High card. Super cool game. Um, didn't see it as, didn't see it in bars as much as uh, you see Golden T or Silver Strike. It's super cool. All right, so I'm gonna do the slide shot. Nicely done. Uh, just looking at the wind. There we go. Four of clubs. Let's take another look at that one. Ooh, off. Very nice. Current standings. Start of the second. All right, so let's do um, the flop shot. He lands it for one. No nope. good. A little bit harder. He's all about the one point. One. Let's take a look at the happy tones. So we did better the first time. Start of the third. All right, here we go. Sweet. He gets one. That's dead oh, on. Almost. He's trying to get the bag on the box. Oh, yeah. It's in the bank. Ten of clubs. Here are the totals. Three innings left. We're halfway done. Ooh, I didn't look at the wind. The wind is going really hard to the right. Okay, and... He's all about the one point. There we go. Ren didn't throw this player off. Five of diamonds. Oh, so nice close. Shot. Let's look at the scorecard. The wind is getting stronger in the fifth inning. Oh, yeah, the wind is real strong. Uh, Ten to the right. You can see the flags in the back. I didn't even look at it. He gets one. All right, uh, let's try doing the slide shot. Nice. We need to try to see if we can knock something in here. There we go. Slides in for three. Nine of diamonds. Let's take a look at the stats. All right, let's say we got one more inning. Last inning, watch the winds here. There we go. All right, so we got a lot of wind behind us. Okay, I think we need to do the flop shot. Oh, he like barely on. Oh, too far. 
There we go. Wow, this player knows how to work with the wind. King of Diamonds. That was a good way to end it. And this game ends at 32. That's a respectable score. Here's the final scores. Learn more about Target Toss Pro. Okay, so yeah, this was a, it's a really useful cabinet. As far as being able to change those games out, you can change some of the incredible technologies uh, games out, such as Golden Tee and the and the what is uh, bags and lawn darts and Silver Strike and all that. And those other ones are actually on uh, computers that they're called. Uh, uh, what are they called? Uh, I want to say Silver Hawks, but it's not Silver Hawks. What is it called? It's uh, Nighthawk. <laughs> it's called the Nighthawk. Silver Hawk. Silver Hawk was the '80s cartoon. I always get it mixed up. But they're running on uh, Nighthawk computers, and then Golden Tee actually just runs on a regular uh, PCB board. And um, they're really, really cool in the sense that you can swap them out. And they, they actually do have this other like little kit that you can buy. It's called the Perfect Solution Kit, where you can actually swap uh, between two of them, which uh, I would love to get. But I, I think the kit itself is like, you know, they don't make it anymore, and the kit is like four to five hundred bucks or whatever. It's like it's super expensive. Uh, and it's it's not even the game. It's just the switcher. So it's it's crazy expensive But yeah, so that's incredible technologies. They are still making games. They're still making golden tea Actually, they just came out with a, a little portable one that you uh, it just has like the control panel And then you hook it up to a flat panel TV But I want to say that that little portable one is like two thousand dollars. It's super expensive FYI, you could probably get one of these used uh, not way less than that uh, They made so many of these um, there's plenty out there but um, that new one actually is has the newer uh, Golden T, and it has, I think, the online leaderboards and stuff like that. You know, so if you're really into that, then it's cool. But yeah, this one does have like the player card reader where you can plug your card into it, and I think it has a way to connect it to the internet and all that. But um, it's not connected. But uh, we we've been playing lawn darts and stuff like that, anyways. We haven't really been playing Golden T too much. But anyways, that's the game of the day. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. Uh, hopefully, uh, you go out to the bars when they open back up and you can check out Golden Sea Silver Strike and maybe run into Lawn Darts or Bags, one of these games. All right, I will talk to y'all later and see you tomorrow.